Ah, uh, yeah, nah. That was a legendary beef. Like, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Lance, and welcome back to Fame Report. Oh, today we got a serious one, guys. We got somebody that I truly, truly like and listen to a lot. Faith Evans, okay? We got the culture spill, and this video is called Faith Evans Breaks Down After Tupac Love Child is Exposed by Jaguar Wright, okay? Look, I don't know if you gotta get your popcorn. I don't know if this is a dark chocolate video. I really don't know. Maybe get both, but buckle up, because we getting ready to go. Three, two, let's go. Biggie, when you wanted Tupac, that's hilarious. Child Jaguar Wright has decided that it's time for Faith Evans to get her dose of truth bombs. And when I tell y'all that she went hard on Faith, baby, she was laying Faith out here to dry. Hilarious is pretending like you didn't know that you weren't sure whether or not you were carrying Tupac's babies. Whoa, whoa, what? Now, look, we know that even Faith Evans, I think, maybe quote me if I'm wrong, even Faith Evans came out and said she did the thing with Tupac, but having his babies? I didn't know about that now. Come on now. Back to the video. That's hilarious. Okay, so does that mean people think Pac is Faith's baby daddy? Or where exactly is Jag going with all this? So as you are probably aware by now, Jag has been spilling some pretty dark secrets about the entertainment industry, talking about how she has had to save a few people, and how people now hate her because of the things she's been saying. Now in her latest interview, I could tell that she was a bit more emotional, maybe because of the pressure and people getting to her but that also did not stop her from speaking her truth and one of the people she's been talking about recently is faith evans who said that jag's claims about her have been hilarious honey you know what jaguar called hilarious the things that have been happening in faith's life you wanted grammys but you settled for ghost writing for a mary j blige that's hilarious whoa I didn't you know that. wanted to build real R&B, Divas franchise, and you settled for Stevie J and Mona Scott and Jocelyn Hernandez and the Masked Singer while he films you in your home, disrespecting you. That's hilarious. Damn, I'm here for Jag channeling her inner Kendrick Lamar with the poetry. And some of the other things Jag said was that Biggie's mom would have preferred for Biggie to marry. Pause real quick. You know what I don't understand? How is it that, and again, you know, love Jaguar. She's been exposing everything, right? But what I want to understand, and maybe somebody in the comment section, can, can you let me know this? Is there anybody else that has this much information? Like, it seems like Jaguar is just Thanos. Like, she just got the gauntlet. She just got all the info. Yo, you want some info? Here's some for you. Here's some for you. She just got everything. But I'm sorry, y'all. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know who else has information. But if you know anybody else that has information, drop in the comments below because I don't know. But Jaguar definitely got the scoop. Back to the video. Relo Kim, because that's somebody who actually loved her son. She also said that Faith Evans settled for a life that is so far beneath her when and she's one of the most talented female artists in the world. But you know what else caught the attention of many people? Jag suggesting that Faith may not even know who her baby daddy is cause she was hooking up with both Biggie and Tupac around the time she got pregnant. Hilarious is both of them that I know and kick it with that worked at death row, that heard Pac in the booth and took pictures of your very high yellow ass. Let me tell y'all something real quick. I don't know if it was the dialogue, right? But I did hear somebody say that Faith Evans was with Tupac in the booth. It may have been Faith herself and essentially, you know, giving Tupac the business, right? What's interesting to me is Jaguar is saying a similar thing, right? That whatever happened was in that booth. So how would she know that, right? So that just goes to show that Jaguar's telling the truth, right? Because the person that, you know, said that her and Faith were in the booth, that person was in the booth. Again, I don't know the guy's name or the girl's name. This was back, we talking back in the 90s, okay? We talking about in what, 95? 
right? So before I was even born. So back to the video. Round about the relationship between Faith and Biggie, they met at a promotional photo shoot for Bad Boy Records in 1994. And while talking about how quickly they got married, Biggie once told Vibe, I married her after knowing her eight days and I was happy. That was my baby. At the same time, with us being so spontaneous, we did it backwards. But when they were together, the relationship was pretty messed up to the point where Biggie was always cheating and Faith even fought Lil' Kim numerous times because of Biggie, allegedly. Well, her main hatred towards Kim at the time was because Kim and Biggie acted like they were like family, but they were really smashing, allegedly. She even once told a story about how she went to Biggie's house around the holidays and caught him and Kim naked in bed. Then Big tried to convince Faith that he didn't sleep with Kim, but it was pretty obvious what was really going on there. To add on to that, there were also allegations that Biggie was putting his paws on Faith. Baby, I'm not sure if this was what also led to Faith sleeping with other people, but there were reports that she hooked up with a few men behind Biggie's back, one of them being Diddy. I really don't know if there was anything going on there for sure, but when Faith Evans was asked about if there was any truth to the allegations that Diddy had something to do with Biggie's death, she defended Diddy. So what I know is that Puff would never have Big. Puff would never be involved in one of his best friends. Mm -hmm. That's outside of him being his artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She also added that their relationship was special and even she never had such a tight relationship with Biggie. And according to Faith, there was no way anyone could even remotely piece the puzzle of Big's untimely death together with that conspiracy. I mean, I know without a doubt that if that's the case, then we would have sued Puff a long time ago right. if we felt that way. You don't think they haven't tried to get us to do that? Yeah, I watched I'm the just saying, you know, them. in yeah. real life, but yeah. we know better than that. But a lot of people still believe to date that Faith Evans knows so much more than she has revealed about what happened to Biggie and the true nature of his relationship with Diddy. Anyway, there was also the allegation that Faith slept with Tupac when she was with Biggie, and that obviously put a strain on the relationship between Biggie and Tupac. For those who recall, the feud first further escalated when she collaborated with Pac on a song and was even mm. photographed next to him, which led to rumors of them having an affair. But when Faith was asked during a marriage or mirage appearance about her involvement in the feud and working with Tupac, this is what she had to say. I didn't know Pac was dying to death. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So I never would have agreed to do a song with him or go in the studio. When I went to the studio with Pac, when I met him, he said, I want to do a song with you. I told mm. Big, he said, you want to do it? I say, yeah, if he got the money. Apparently, after <laughs> noticing that her recording session was full of people on the death row team, Faith explained that she immediately noticed something was off, even though she wasn't aware of the conflict. So wait, Faith was trying to say that when she collaborated with Tupac, who was based in California where she was, she didn't know he was signed to death row? Girl, the whole world knew. And it's how she said in more than one interview that she did not know Tupac was signed to death row, and she did not know about the beef for me. You know what I mean? Even though. I didn't really know a lot of the details about what happened, but it was clear that he took a jab at Puff at the Source Awards and stuff like that. But I was pretty oblivious to a whole lot of the, the things that had gone on prior to that, you know, until to some probably a few years later you know what i mean plus she said that she didn't know they were even beefing so why would she need to run the song with tupac by her husband if she didn't know they were beefing since they were very good friends before Pac was jumped something yeah, else is that I, when people I, I don't, were saying that she had that. Uh, yeah nah that was a legendary beef like guys we're talking about i know drake and kendrick just beef but you know that's on the mount rushmore of, of beefs Okay, because they had a whole, we, we already know, there was the East Coast, West Coast thing. We ain't gonna get into it. Not buying it. Back to the video. With Tupac, Faith threw Tupac under the bus, saying that when it was time for Pac to pay her the $25,000 she said she was owed, she went to Pac's hotel to collect. And Pac allegedly told her to give him a blowjob. In a very surprising and uh, offensive way, for sure. But I mean, I, uh, by that time, I think it was, you know, it was pretty clear to me that that it, you know, that that was all kind of, a, it seemed to me that that was kind of like a plan. You know what I mean? Like I've, you've been kind of guy, like I kind of allowed myself to be played and allowed myself to get into this situation because this is totally not how I operate. That ain't how I do business. And that was never even, you know, up for discussion as far as that being an exchange. You know what I'm saying? That's not what it was about. I Regardless, just like followers were saying that Faith was lying about not knowing about the beef and lying about not knowing about Pac being signed to death row. Guys, do you believe that? Put in the comment section below. I I'm not even going to get into it. Like, 
You didn't know about the beef. You didn't know that Tupac was trying to. Never mind. Back to the video. And lying about the relationship Biggie had with Diddy, she was also lying about not hooking up with Pac when she was with Biggie. I mean, we all know that Faith continues to deny that she ever slept with Pac, even though, other than Jaguar, it has been said by several people who were around at the time. Now, I ain't one to gossip. Nope. But I've seen this one with my own eye. Faith Evans did screw Tupac. She got in the car with him that night when he left the club. Of course, it also didn't help that Tupac doubled down on the allegation when he dropped the knockout diss track, Hit Him Up, on which he took aim at Big with the scathing opening line that he hooked up with his wife. And Biggie himself also rapped in a song that if Faith had twins, she'd probably have two Pacs. Interesting, huh? Well, it's possible that Faith slept with Tupac in retaliation for the humiliation Biggie had put her through with Kemp. But the way she keeps denying it has made a lot of people conclude that she's a pathological liar. And according to Jack, Jaguar, the only reason why Faith would respond with one word to all the allegations she has made against her is because she knows that whatever she has been saying is true. One word response is you looking for someone to let you off the hook for something that you don't want to say. And at the end of the day, it is hilarious. And if Faith was allegedly... You could tell Jaguar is just so fed up. She's just like, uh, yeah, how many of these? I could do this all day. I could expose. How many more people you want me to expose? Yo, honestly, like I said in the last video, I feel like there's so many other people. I personally, I, I'm doing my Googles. I'm doing my research to find more information. Nothing as significant has come out yet. Only the Diddy stuff. But watch, mark my words. Soon, we about to hear another one. And I guarantee you, the next person we hear from, we're going to be like, not that person i'm telling you watch screen record this screenshot or whatever you got to do i'm calling it now back to the video hooking up with Pac around the time she got pregnant i would totally understand why some people would actually believe that her baby daddy is tupac anyway what jag was saying was that her cousin faith needs to borrow a leaf from their other cousin julie mcknight and liberate herself by telling the truth and while at it she said faith needs to get clean child have y'all seen how she's always high in her interviews crazy i just want to know your thoughts on jag exposing faith for hooking up with Pac and lying about it do you think the affair with Pac was real or do you believe faith when she says she never hooked up with pot sound off in the comments yeah she high in the videos but she telling the dang truth she exposing everything she could be high all she wants at least we getting some information you know how long wait a minute hold on let's just do you know how long we've been waiting to hear some of this information from somebody credible not just from because for the longest time all this stuff was just rumors right it was rumors it was he say, he say, she say, oh, you heard it through the grapevine. It wasn't anybody from anybody's specific camp. And I'm not talking about groupies. Groupies, step to the side. We ain't talking about you. <laughs> we ain't talking about you, right? So anyway, my thoughts about this is, you know, Jaguar right exposing Faith Evans. Well, I mean, it's not really that she exposed Faith Evans. She's just exposing the truth. She's just exposing what happened, right? Because it's something we've been waiting for for 15 plus years. And because we're tired of the lies. That's just the truth, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you slap the like button. Make sure you punch the subscribe button for more. I appreciate you guys' support. Get in the comment box. Let me know what you guys think. Come on. Let me let's let's start a conversation. Let's see. All right. Till next time. Peace.